Hi guys, my name is Chris Akabwe and I want to tell you to please subscribe to Adiba CTV and watch Chat with Adi. Chris Akabwe says so. Sign up. Yes, okay. So welcome to um, Chat with Adi. I'm your host, Adi Tila Dende. And of course, we have this handsome guest today, Chris Okabwe. I got it. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, we are of course in Toronto, and um, you came down for the movie that it was casting, main cast, um, well, Finding Odera. Yes, that's correct. Finding Odera. So we had a screening yesterday, which was was well done. It was the movie. You guys, when it's out, go watch it. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> go and watch it. It's a very very nice movie. Um, so I'm going to ask you a few questions in regards to the movie. Okay. But before we dive into that, we'll like to know a little bit about you okay. on a personal notes. Because okay. we, know, we, know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. Not just me, you know, our fans. I'm speaking on behalf of our fans. <laughs> we'd like to know. Okay, so you are here. Um, you did the movie both in Nigeria and in Canada. Yeah. So where are you based? Uh, primarily. Yes. Uh, that would be Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. Okay. So you just come and go. Hey, best of both worlds. I mean, uh, actually, the time at the time that uh, the director cast me for the role, I was in the UK at the time, oh. and actually, when we first started filming, I was still in the UK. So oh, okay. I had to from the UK to Nigeria to do the Nigerian bit of it. Oh. And then a few weeks after that, mm -hmm. then flew here to do the. Canada Park. Park. Yeah. Okay. So UK, were you were just on UK as like visiting UK or your UK is like UK is like a second home second. for me. Oh, yeah, like, okay. I'm literally always there. That is multi multi international. <laughs> <laughs> so those who want to cast some roles in UK, hey, use your guy. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. So, um, how was it, um, being part of the project? Um, it was great. I mean, I've worked with Charles before, the director, mm -hmm. but the um, first time I worked with him was on a, um, was another film, but I didn't have, um, I, I don't believe in small roles and big roles, but I would say I didn't get the opportunity to spend as much time with him on set okay. because I didn't really have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. It was an important character that was very pivotal in the story, mm -hmm. but didn't have a lot of like screen time, uh, which obviously meant that I didn't have a lot of days to spend on set. Okay, yeah. um, but prior to then, I have known of him and of okay. his work. We know each other. You know, the way in the industry, mm -hmm. like everyone kind of like knows everyone. <laughs> um, it was my first time working with him. So we've had a great relationship after that. We've um, been to events together, awards and stuff like that. Um, we have a lot of mutual friends in the industry as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, when he reached out for this role, it was, it was a great opportunity for me to work with him. Again, mm -hmm. on a deeper level. Okay. And um, obviously, the script was amazing and uh, it drew me so much. I just had to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, the crew that we worked with in Nigeria are people that I'm extremely familiar with that I've worked with many, many times. So, it was just amazing. It was just, we felt good just being around them because, like, one huge, happy family. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, every production has, you know, setbacks and, yeah. Like that, <laughs> nothing insurmountable that we are not able to tackle but the shoe was great and uh he also gave me the opportunity to really get into character because obviously there was a bit of time between what we shot in nigeria and mm -hmm. what we shot in canada mm -hmm. so resuming the shoot in canada was good because i was already in character i knew what was expected of me what was expected of the character mm -hmm. the trajectory of his character where he's coming from where he's going to um and then also getting to work with a lot of new people here in canada Yes. It was an entirely different crew, like literally every single department was a different person <laughs> as opposed to like what we did in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, but it was great as well. It was it was really good working with the, uh, my my fellow cast members. Um, <laughs> it was amazing. It was a great experience. That's sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, okay, so now the movie is like a bittersweet. Yes. Without saying too much, it was bittersweet. So how was it? working with um your co um star yeah how was that um it was it was interesting because prior to me being on set 
physically together. Mm-hmm. We've done a bunch of readings uh, via Zoom mm-hmm. while I was in the UK. And obviously, she was in, in Canada here, and uh, Dorette was here as well. And uh, when we finished the Nigerian bit, while we were prepping to come and shoot here in Canada, we mm. did have a bunch of readings. I think it was like two or three times with the cast members. So as much as I was meeting them physically for the first time, mm-hmm. I already knew of them. We had done readings. We had like you know introduced ourselves. There was a, the, the vibe was already there, which mm-hmm. was great. You know the, the chemistry was there. Um, so coming on set and then seeing everyone physically, it was easy because as much as they were new, they were not really. Mm. <laughs> Charlotte was, was really good um, I would say she made it very easy for me she's very easy going she's very she's a professional as well which I really appreciate mm. because it just, it just makes the job easier, easier. Um, and she's very talented as well mm-hmm. so yeah it was, it was great working with her so yesterday at the screening I heard you said as soon as you were coming off the, um, the plane yeah that was you guys were doing a scene right there and it was quite intimate yeah. so how did that like you know explain a little bit how was that how awkward was that how intense was that part playing just coming off you know yeah. flight it was um, it was uh it was interesting and a bit challenging but i think that the fact that we had already had conversations um over the phone mm-hmm. and Zoom kind of like made it easier but just meeting someone for the first time physically and jumping straight into an intimate scene Mm. can be it's nerve-wracking <laughs> but like i said she's a professional and i'd like to think that i am <laughs> um, so uh, i'm sure when, when you watched this that actual scene mm-hmm. that you get to see when you see the film mm. the, the awkwardness wasn't there no it wasn't very, it felt, it felt yeah very, you know, natural. Very natural yes uh, so yes thanks to her and, um, <laughs> it was uh it was good, but I think it was it was uh, it was a soft landing or a soft takeoff mm-hmm. because the moment I landed in Canada for the Canada shoot, the actual day I landed at the airport was the day we started filming because we had airport scenes to shoot. Mm-hmm. So we decided, you know what, we might as well just yes, while it. we're here. Mm-hmm. So on my way, the crew was already at the airport. Everything was set up. My costume was on standby. <laughs> so I just, just got off the plane, moved my luggage, <laughs> no, the costume, and then we got right into it. Wow. Um, it was mm-hmm. it was interesting, but I kind of feel like the moment we shot that scene, mm-hmm. it was almost like, I mean, okay. I mean, where else do you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We kind of like broke the ice. It Definitely like shattered the ice. ice. So every other scene it was just like, yeah, smooth. It was, it was, it was good. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back to where and where, if you remember, yeah. did you start with your acting career um so a long long time ago um so i always say this all the time acting for me started by chance because i actually never wanted to be an actor oh. um i got into the entertainment industry quite young i was 16 going on 17 um and i had gone into the modeling industry okay so I was doing a bit of modeling um, my older sister had introduced me to her age and she was already modeling like even before me Mm-hmm. And I always knew that I wanted to do something in showbiz. Um, mm-hmm. It was actually supposed to be music, but that never happened. Or well, hasn't happened. That's what yes. I mm-hmm. um, but I just had a flair for you know the arts, entertainment. It was just my thing. So I got into modeling. I was doing quite well. I've done a bunch of jobs, like all the top brands named, and from telecommunications to beverage to whatever. Wow. So I was I was sort of like quite accomplished in the peak. modeling industry. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was. In my third year as a model, when acting just, you know, came Fell up. on you. <laughs> yeah, I just took it from there. So mm-hmm. because it wasn't something that I really wanted to do, mm-hmm. I wasn't so serious about it. So because oh, of that, okay. I wasn't getting a lot of jobs. I wasn't actually going for any auditions. Mm. I think I was in like one film per year. And in those films, because I was new, it wasn't mm-hmm. like it was a big role. So you a film where you have like two scenes. Imagine just doing that and then to the next year. Next year yeah. I, I couldn't care less because... I wasn't really interested Mm -hmm. Um, for a particular guy, actually Yusuf, the director that I worked with the first time ever, apparently saw something in me Mm -hmm. and kept calling me back for stuff. (laughs) And um, I would say the more I did it, the more I started to find it interesting Mm -hmm. and became passionate about it. So now I do more acting and less well no modeling. (laughs) That shifted Um, now. Yes. The same way when when, when the singing too comes, it will shift a bit. (laughs) We'll see about that. (laughs) Hey, I heard you singing yesterday. And you got you got some vocals, oh yes, but it was similar. 
effortlessly done. Oh, thank you very much. So definitely the talent is there. It is there. It is you are gifted with that. Thank this so, so the way the modeling came, yeah. then the new era of the acting came, then another era of the singing to enter and hey, oh, showbiz. <laughs> Check him out. I want to sign me. Yeah, check him out. I might be the next Chris Brown or the Chris Brown of Nigeria. Yeah. In fact, you know, I was going to say, I don't know about the dancing, but yes, he did some dancing steps yeah. in finding out there. Uh, yeah, so, you got to see him. Hey. <laughs> that was, everybody was clapping. Everybody was clapping because the steps were on point. It's quite embarrassing. Well, maybe not embarrassing. I was, so I'm not, I'm not naturally a shy person, but I, because I'm, I'm a bit of a self critic. Mm -hmm. I really don't enjoy watching my own movies mm -hmm. because I tend to criticize myself. <laughs> so more than half the time, while the movie was playing, I usually <laughs> like on my phone. I don't want to see it. But I, obviously, from the reaction, yes, the audience, I could tell that people really like that scene. Mm -hmm. which is good. Yes, so, yes. Everybody was clapping. It was well done. Good, good, good. So, um, what about your parents? Were they well, you said your sister was already in the modeling um, industry. Yeah. So I guess you also be going into the modeling and acting eventually, they yeah. have always been supportive. Yes, absolutely. Um, so my dad is no longer with us. He oh. passed on um, so a number of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, my mom has always, always been supportive. She kind of always knew that I had a fear for arts and entertainment because I've been singing since I was like, what, seven Six, um, um, you know how you do all this like family prayer. Mm -hmm. and, They'll say take prison worship. And when I started to learn how to play the instruments like the guitar and the piano, like she, there was nothing that I picked up mm -hmm. as far as the arts was concerned that surprised her. It's mm -hmm. almost like she already knew that mm -hmm. I had it in me. So she was, she was just waiting for it for to, you to go. go. <laughs> I remember the first time I bought my first guitar, I didn't know anything about playing. Mm -hmm. I literally just saw someone playing while I was on set of my second job ever. And this guy came around. So this guitar had been lying around for like days. Mm -hmm. And then he showed up. He's an actor as well, but he wasn't on the project. Just came to like chill with us. Yeah. And then he picked up and was playing. And I'm like, it, just, it was mesmerizing. I'm like, I'm going to learn this. So I went and bought my guitar, not even knowing how to play. You didn't even know that you had to tune it. I thought you just carried it and I just started playing. And I bought it and I got home that day. My mother just said to me in my language, so, mm -hmm. so this is what we are doing now. No. <laughs> I started to learn how to play on my own on mm -hmm. YouTube and stuff like that, and I I'm 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 not great because I don't have I can't read music I don't mm -hmm. have a professional train as far as like instruments are concerned, but I I know sound mm -hmm. and I can pick up sound and just replicate oh. what someone else is playing, you know? which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so she's always been supportive. So when I started modeling, she didn't mind, mm -hmm. she didn't care. Like she kind of always knew that. I was in the right hands considering the fact that my older sister was already in the yes. job and mm -hmm. she knew that she pretty much just like show me the ropes. Mm -hmm. And then when the, the acting came along as well, it's the same thing and she's been supportive to this very day. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So what would you say, um what would you say is your mentor in the acting industry? Hmm. Not just in entertainment industry, yeah. but that is a very, very um very good question. Mm -hmm. um, now, I I would say I don't have a mentor. Now, sometimes when I see this, a lot of people think that it's a bad thing. I don't necessarily agree. I respect a lot of actors. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that I admire their work. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that have their work has influenced my work. Mm -hmm. um, but I would not say that I have an actual mentor. At least not in not in Hollywood. Not even in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Right, I just I have a few people that I have like favorite actors, favorite actresses that I watch everything that you do, learn from them. Mm -hmm. Um, because of one, the kind of actor that I want to be, okay. the kind of movies that I want to be in, mm -hmm. the kind of roles that I want to play. Um, say for instance, finding other I could tell that the character was very deep. Mm -hmm. Um, and those are the kind of roles that I like to play. I like to play characters that you have to dig deep. Mm -hmm. I don't like. It's not like I mean like suffer pass, but I don't really like the easy roles because I feel like it comes effortlessly and I feel like when I get home from work mm -hmm. I wanna be able to feel like I did some work today. Okay. Not get be challenged. Home, like, just another day. Yeah. <laughs> some sometimes you do this kind of roles, there's nothing wrong in it. It's mm -hmm. just about personal preference. And I prefer roles that you get home, you feel like you've 
created something, you've created mm. art. Um, so obviously for that role, I had to look at characters like, obviously, everyone in London, Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge, huge fan of Tom Hardy. Mm. Um, uh, in Nollywood, I'm yeah. a huge respect and a huge fan of, you know, of course, UKJ, everybody knows that, even he does. <laughs> um, you know, people like Uzo Arukwe, and these are like the young actors that are like my age. Mm. And I don't believe that because we are in the same age bracket, I cannot learn from them. I cannot yes. teach you as someone that I respect. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I don't necessarily have a mentor, but I have a lot of people that I, I look up to, people mm -hmm. that, um, you know, work as far as my work. Okay, well said. It's not everyone that needs a mentor, but... I have mentors in all fields, mm. but maybe not in acting. Not in acting. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So besides acting, singing, dancing, what else did you mention now? Modeling. So what else are you into? <laughs> um, I think that... I mean, I, I do delve into a, a bunch of stuff. I just I like to know how to do things, mm. right? Just for the sake of knowing how to do them. <laughs> I, I like to be very, very versatile. Um, when I was younger, I used to do a lot of acrobatics and gymnastics. Okay. Uh, like the back flips, the front flips. It kind of like comes to the dancing. Because mm -hmm. like the dancing, you have to like do stunts and stuff like that. Yeah. I still can, but you know, like, age is not really like on our side like that. So we have to be careful with these things so you don't get <laughs> injured. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> you get what I mean? Um, but I, I, still, I still do that. Um, I love sport. I love football. Mm -hmm. um, I used to play football a lot. Uh, got a knee injury. Had to slow down, oh. which is why I had to slow down with the dancing as well. Oh. Um, I also do a bit of acrobatics and gymnastics, but not so much anymore because I used to do that when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So now we have to be careful to <laughs> not get injured. Not to break um, bone. <laughs> yeah, but I just, I just really like to just know how to do a bunch of stuff. Obviously, what I do professionally right now is the acting mm -hmm. and the modeling. Okay. Um, every now and again in the morning, um, not doing singing professionally. I do a bunch of covers. I have a bunch of covers on my YouTube page if you are interested. Well, what is your YouTube handle? Uh, this is Chris Okawe TV. Yeah, um, mm. I have a bunch of stuff there. Um, I also so really like uh, content creating, mm -hmm. um, editing videos, pictures. Um, I just enjoy doing stuff like that. So mm -hmm. check me out on <laughs> social media if you want to see some of that on TikTok. It's just Chris underscore Kabu. Mm -hmm. Same as Instagram and Twitter. Um, so yeah, I just I just <laughs> like to know how to do how to do things. things. Moving on, we have the Quick Collect money transfer. You can send and receive your money with Quick Collect. They are safe, secure, and trusted. No transfer fee and are the best choice. You can download their app at Google Play. It is also available on App Store. You can also visit their website at www.quickcollect.com. Next on our list today is the 24-7 Lounge. 24-7 Lounge is a pleasant lounge with a welcoming ambience. It is one place to kickstart your weekend. Enjoy tasty and sumptuous meals with 24-7. It is ideal for personal groups, corporate and social hangouts. They also offer catering services and party booking. You can also place an order they surely deliver straight to your doorstep. They are located at number 106 Umba College Boulevard. Moving forward, we have the VIP Wellness Spot. It is a multidisciplinary clinic in Etobicoke, Canada. They give therapy treatments, facials, body and wellness treatments. To learn more, you can follow them on Instagram at VIP Wellness Spot. Join us in two weeks time on another episode of Adeba Adva Splash Show. Bye! Okay, so welcome back. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. So, <clears throat> what projects are you currently working on at the moment? Yeah, okay. Um, so before coming here, I have finished shooting a movie. Um, so going back to Nigeria, I actually start shoot two days right after I get back. Um, um so I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a busy December for me, you know, November into December, mm -hmm. because um, I've kind of like been away for a while. All the while I was in the UK, I wasn't really doing much of acting. Mm -hmm. I did do a movie um, in the UK, short film coming out very soon. Um, but going back to Nigeria right now, I have like a lineup of work mm -hmm. waiting and um, fun times. You know, 
exciting time. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm looking forward to it because it's my happy place. I like to be on film sets. Mm-hmm. As much as we still do other things to go <laughs> on the table. I love this love to be on film sets. So I'm looking forward to a bunch of like our projects I'm, I'm doing right now or mm-hmm. doing in the future. I have stuff for TV, I've got stuff for cinema, I've got stuff that are coming out on, on platforms like Netflix yes. and Prime. I've got stuff going to be on Netflix and Prime as well. Nice. Um, so yeah, just uh, it's exciting times. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we're just going, whoop, yeah, up. That's great. Um, hold on one second. It's not just a slip. Okay. So um, in the industry, yeah. fully well in the Nollywood industry, we know at times there's strives and competitions and, you know, whatnot. Yeah. How do you handle that? Um, I mean, well, first and foremost, I don't think, anyone should be in competition with anyone, mm. right? I believe that um, there's there's a role for everyone. That's one. And two, I believe that everyone has something you need to bring to the table, okay. right? Uh, I would use myself as an example. I've gotten, as much as I'm super grateful that I, I have like a body of work that I've done in my career, mm-hmm. um, I've also gotten a lot of interviews. Mm. I've also gotten a lot of me next time. I've also gotten a lot of and decided to go for someone else. Now, uh, I've had to come to learn, understand, and be at peace with the fact that whenever I get a no mm-hmm. or next time or we work for someone else, it's not because I'm not a good actor. Mm-hmm. It's probably because the other person suits the character better than I do. Yes. Um, now, because other than being an actor, I also know a lot about production because I produce as well. Mm-hmm. And I know that one of the most important things about filmmaking or acting is you have to look the part. Mm. You have to look the part. If I'm offered a role where I am supposed to look 50 years old, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> I'm supposed to be 16 years old. I know we've done exactly with our age, but mm. some of these things will be hard to pull off. So <laughs> when, when things like that happen, I feel like maybe the other person fits the character better. Maybe they are closer to the age of what they Mm-hmm. what they have to be or have a certain look. Yeah. Um, so because of that, I'm I'm very chilled about, you know, disappointments mm-hmm. because I also believe that when one door closes, another one opens or two more opens. Uh, so I'm not really in, in competition with anyone. Mm-hmm. I believe that there's only one Chris Hooker mm-hmm. There's all, I mean, my twin brother is Chris Hooker as well, but it's Christian and Christopher. Yes, you do know that I'm a twin. Yeah. Shocker. Yeah. Hey, where is he hiding? <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. Okay, so is Christopher. Christian and Christopher. Yeah, but we both, Why are your parents like trying twins. to complicate things like this? Yeah. Are you guys identical twins? You no, know, we, just, we just sort of look alike, but we're not identical. We have a few similar features, but we're not identical. Really? Yeah. Um, and he's not in showbiz at all. He's not interested in <laughs> Oh, wow. Show. Quite interesting. Yeah. Wow. That is nice to know. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, there's always <laughs> going to be there's only going to be one crystal fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so for every role that I get, I believe that it will to be mine, and no one else can pull it off better than I can. Mm-hmm. And for every role that I don't get, I feel like maybe I wouldn't have done a, a great job at that role. I would have done my best. Mm-hmm. Right? But sometimes yes. your best is not, not. enough for that particular yes. character, and it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's totally fine. It doesn't mean that you're not great at what you do. Yeah. Um. So because of that, I'm very chill with like stuff like that like i don't i'm not in competition with anyone Nobody. good to know and uh knowing well that you're a handsome man in the industry even the ones that are not quite handsome we know they're being disturbed <laughs> no talk less of a young man like you how do you handle the should i say the stress some people might not see the stress but how do you handle the um disturbance of you know women in the industry um, well to be fair and it might be hard for you to believe it's actually not as bad as a lot of people think mm-hmm. um people feel like because i look a certain way mm-hmm. like it's like <laughs> they're throwing it's, themselves at you right <laughs> it's right and it's every now and again mm-hmm. yeah, but it's really not as bad as people think but i don't know what the reason is mm-hmm. maybe i have an aura around me that just says 
Yeah, great, but nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I actually don't get as many mm -hmm. uh, as, as people think. Oh, okay. Which is a good thing because yes. yeah, less to deal with. Mm -hmm. But um on the occasions that I do because like I grew up around women, mm -hmm. right? I have four sisters, it's my mom, it's my mom. like when I grew up, the household that I grew up in had more females than yeah, men. No. Um so I relate I relate a lot, you know, better with females than you know, my male counterparts. Like, I have a lot of like friends female. as well like male friends um colleagues mostly i don't really have like close 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 friends i don't yeah. have like other than my actual immediate family i mean mm -hmm. i'm like, best friend I'm, like, I'm happy with that <laughs> um just kind of like just keeps things peaceful yes it's better mm -hmm. <laughs> um but it's i don't know it's just in the nicest way possible without trying to hurt anyone's feelings mm -hmm. just say no nicely mm -hmm. yeah and sometimes yes you do Sometimes some people who are not used to getting the no, or yeah. taking you for an answer, mm -hmm. you just have to find a way to persevere and stand <laughs> your ground, um, but not you know disrespect anyone. Because first of all, I feel like it's already a hard thing for a woman to come on to a guy. Because, like it's supposed to be the this generation. Like, it's like, it's easy like, for like, them. Or... Like, yeah, I feel like it's, it's 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 a big deal for you to like summon the courage or whatever. So that alone, I can. Mm -hmm. and at least be nice with saying no yeah right. but it's actually not so bad okay that's good to hear so but we will take it that you're still single you're still that's a bachelor right. are you looking or you have someone special when you go by mom where it says ah. oh. <laughs> we're still looking <laughs> it is well um that's great so i would like you to speak to your fans and I'll give them a word of encouragement, a motto, something that keeps you going yeah. when things seems like it's just not working. Yeah. And just something to let them know that, you know, don't settle and just be push for what it is that you want. I feel like you pretty much said it all. Uh, but <laughs> <your> I mean, <laughs> what can I say? Just you have to, it's, it's tough out there. Everyone's going through something. Mm -hmm. And no one situation is worse than the other person. They say that he who wears the shoes know where it's, it's pinching. Yeah. Them, you know? um, but what I what I always believe in is that it could be worse. Mm -hmm. It could be a whole lot worse. Whatever the situation is, it could be a whole lot worse than it actually is. Mm -hmm. So you just try, and it's hard to just try to find the silver lining, try to find the positive in the negative. And just like you said, never give up. I feel like it's important to you know, find oneself. Mm. A lot of young people these days are being influenced by um, a lot of things and a lot of people, especially with social media. Oh, yeah. It's hard to find one's identity mm -hmm. because it's very easy to be influenced by someone else. Somebody like, else. You know, that's the direction that you want to yes. go. Um, I feel like the first step is finding oneself. It's the first, it's the hardest, mm. but it's, the, it's like once you're able to do that, the pressure of trying to be a certain way mm -hmm. goes away. Mm -hmm. And in the absence of that pressure, you mm -hmm. can thrive a lot because you're more focused, you're more locked in and zeroed on the things that actually matter, the mm -hmm. things that are actually important. Mm -hmm. um, and with focus on that, it's it's all the way up from there. Mm -hmm. um, so just find yourself, find what it is that makes you tick, find what it is that you're good at. Mm -hmm. um, fact, there is no single person on the face of the earth that doesn't have at least one talent at least one some are blessed with many yes. but there's nobody that doesn't have none no. at all that is a fact mm. but the problem is a lot of people don't know what that is mm. but it's on us nobody's going to help you find it mm. it's your responsibility to find out what your gifts are what your skill sets are mm. and to work on them also have an open mind of learning don't believe that you know it all mm. um because when you have an, an open mind of wanting to do better and be better you will do better and you will be better and just keep working on yourself and change may not happen instantaneously mm -hmm. right but it will happen mm -hmm. it's almost like wanting to um change your body by working out like every single day you go to the gym <laughs> and come back and look at the mirror you will see a difference at all <laughs> every day you will see a difference <laughs> but take a picture on day one mm -hmm. and just show up at the gym every single day don't worry about looking at the mirror show up every <laughs> single day for 30 days mm. and take a picture 
on day 30, you would see a huge difference. difference. You may not see them as they happen day by day. Yes. But you see, and that's the same thing with your life. Just mm. keep doing what you're doing. As long as you're doing the right thing, mm -hmm. the, the change that you're looking for will come eventually. Yay! Wow, thank you. Thank you for that. You guys, I hope you've got that. So, um, give us your social media handles again. Okay, so on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and TikTok is all the same. Just Chris underscore Okabu, that's C H R I S underscore O K B G E E. And on Facebook is Chris space Okabu. Um, any other one? That's all I did. That's I all that, you, you said YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, YouTube is Chris Okabu TV. Okay, yeah, that's um, the one so that's yes, different. Follow me, <laughs> catch up on what I'm doing, and um, let's connect there as well. Yay, our oh, uh, multi international traveler, actor, singer, dancer, <laughs> gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. God bless your endeavors. And we'll definitely still meet up in the future, yeah. link up. Yeah. We become friends now, you know. Yes. Don't ask me for his number. Or not available <laughs> but yeah so nice thank you for having us at ABAT CTV yay mm -hmm, thank you